I've been customising cars since I can remember. Even when I was a kid, as a child in my bedroom, I would get my toy cars, matchbox cars, and I would customise them. Customising cars is all I've ever wanted to do. This is just a few. But sometimes you have a car that you love so much, that you do so much in, that you, for some reason you sell it to move on to the next project, but you always remember that car and you always want it back. And then sometimes you get the opportunity to get that car back, but way better than it ever left you. Now, 15 years ago, I owned a car. Back then, it was just a standard family car. I put coilovers on it, put some nice BBS wheels on it, and it was immaculate. It was one of the nicest, comfiest cars I ever had. It was also one of the coolest cars I ever had, because even back then, 15 years ago, you didn't see many of them. Now, a few months ago, I was contacted by somebody on Facebook. This person just contacted me because they were looking to put together an owner's list of all the people that own the car, because they love the car as well. And um, I said to them, if you ever decide to sell this car, uh, I would be interested in buying it back. Well, a few weeks back, I get a message saying that the car is up for sale and they would like me to own it because I was the original owner, or one of them. So since then, I have sold my Polo, I've sold my little work van, I sold two sets of wheels to get the money to get this car. Well, this is the car in question, a B3 Passat Estate 1993. Now, I know what you're thinking, bear with me, it's worth it. In the time I had it, I had things like banded steels on it to BBS wheels. At one point, I even tried to turn it into a camper van and slept in it. Uh, the reason I sold this in the end was to buy a T4 and get my first camper, because as you can see in the pictures coming up, I did try and turn this into a camper van myself. But um, at the time, I was too young and stupid to realize how sought after and rare these cars would become. But that was 15 years ago. Here it is. This is my B3 Passat that I used to own 15 years ago. Since then, it's had some upgrades. Uh, it's now got five stud wheels instead of four stud. It's got, um, I don't even know what the front's off. It's got a B4 Passat um, subframe. It's got a PD150 engine running God knows what horsepower, but it's ridiculous. I mean, seriously ridiculous. I know I've got um, Audi TT rear brakes on it. So anyway, yeah, that's a lot of the mechanical stuff. I will get to you in, a, in another video about mechanical stuff, but I know you've all been waiting for the grand reveal of the car. It's looking a bit rougher than it used to when I owned it, which means we've got stuff to build on the channel, doesn't it? So there it is right there. A little bit rougher. I'm thinking about changing the colour, but I'm not sure yet. But there it is. It's got the GT kit on it all around the bottom. It's got the GT side panels and stuff. Uh, if you come around the back. Getting close to have a look at this. We've got the US spec rear number plate tub there. Give me the camera. Let me show you the inside. Inside we have the... Oh, it's still handling, it's funny. Inside we have Edition 1 interior. I need to clean, but it's actually in really good condition. Edition 1 interior, including door cards. Put these door cards out. Edition 1 interior. There's a few plastic panels I've got to put back on. Look at that armrest. In the front, it looks like that. So, yeah. Got some 17 inch rims. I got them cheap on Marketplace just for now. I don't actually like black wheels, but they will do. So there it is. There it is. Hi, Amy. <laughs> there it is. The exhaust. The exhaust is full stainless steel, three inch all the way through, I think. It keeps twisting. It needs another bracket. Um, but under torque, this thing is <laughs> ridiculous. The rear bumper uh, needs sorting out the paint on it. But I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is the whole bottom half, I'm going to re black at some point. Um, the top half, I might change the colour. There's a lot of things I've been looking at, but I'm not quite sure 
but there we are it's a, quite a bit rougher than when I owned it but that gives us something to build on the channel doesn't it I need a new grill down there because it's broken here we have it PD150 power there it is there's the beast we got um, aluminium intercooler down the front we've got a front mount intercooler down there where all this, these pipes are going to yes <laughs> I would I would run off the list of all the stuff it's got it's got the PD150 engine it's got I think it's called an O2A or an O2J gearbox um, some, uh, yeah it's got stuff but in the next video I will list all the technical parts that it's got because I haven't got them to hand right now because I'm actually still in my work clothes and um, I'm just taking my daughter to the doctors actually <laughs> so I thought while I had time I'd finish the reveal video but there you go watch this space people watch this space